In the mid to late 1930s, the German Army's Naval Trupp unit was equipped with the Type 35 10cm heavy mortar. This mortar was actually an enlarged version of the 8cm mortar and could be used in combat like a conventional mortar. However, it also had the ability to launch other special ammunition. The mortar weighed 105 kilograms and had a range of about 3 kilometers. It required a crew of 7 people to operate. However, the Type 35 mortar had a short range and unsatisfactory accuracy. In order to replace this weapon, Rheinmetall began designing a new Type 40 10 cm heavy mortar in 1939, which entered service in 1941. Its full name is the 10 cm Nebelwerfer 40. The Type 40 heavy mortar was different from conventional mortars in structure. It was developed based on the prototype mortars Nebelwerfer 51 and 52 that Rheinmetall had experimented with in the late 1930s. The actual caliber of the mortar was 105 mm, with a barrel length of 1.72 meters. It used a breech loading system and was mounted on a two-wheeled carriage, allowing it to be towed by vehicles. The mortar had a small spade that needed to be deployed before firing to stabilize the barrel. The Type 40 heavy mortar indeed surpassed the Type 35 in terms of combat performance. With a more stable carriage, the mortar had an elevation angle between 45 degrees and 84 degrees and a horizontal adjustment of 14 degrees. It had two types of ammunition for daily use, an 8.6 kilogram high explosive shell and an 8.9 kilogram smoke shell. Due to its different structure, it could use twice as much propellant as the Type 35. The muzzle velocity of the Type 35 was only about 200 meters per second, with a range of approximately 3 kilometers. With the ability to use more propellant, the Type 40 increased its muzzle velocity to 310 meters per second and achieved a maximum range of 6.35 kilometers, surpassing the Type 35 by a significant margin. However, the Type 35 also had its advantages. It weighed much less at 105 kilograms, while the Type 40 with its spade and carriage had a total weight of 800 kilograms. Such weight made it nearly impossible to rely solely on manpower for transportation and required vehicles or animals. Due to the different loading methods, the Type 35 could achieve a firing rate of 10 to 15 rounds per minute, while the Type 40 could only manage 8 to 10 rounds per minute. After entering service, the Type 40 heavy mortar was used in parts of North Africa, Northern Europe, and Eastern Europe. However, it was not commonly seen on the battlefield due to its specialized use and high cost, 14,000 Reichsmarks. Although the Type 40 heavy mortar served until 1945, it was not the mainstay of its units because another weapon quickly appeared the Type 41 15 mm Nebelwerfer 6-tube rocket launcher. Compared to the Type 40, the latter was lighter, had a slightly increased range, and had stronger instantaneous firepower coverage.